That breaking news, two people are now in custody following a triple shooting that left two people dead in Salem. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 5. I'm Dan Tilkin in for Jeff tonight. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. We know that that shooting happened just outside of a home off Silverton Road Northeast last night. Let's switch to our Lisa Balick, who's there live with the very latest. What can you tell us about these arrests, Lisa? Well, Jennifer, just a few minutes ago, we have found out that law officers have arrested two men who were wanted for the shootings here. They found those two men in Roseburg. Now, the house where this happened is down there where you see those vans and the blue tarp. And what we understand is those two men will both be charged with aggravated murder and attempted aggravated murder. Their names, Keontae Caldwell and Curtis Welsh, both from Salem, both known to the victims. It was about 10.20 in the evening, and uh, we were just watching TV, and we heard these gunshots. And it just went pop, 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 and I was like, what is that? Gunshots fired outside this home on Joshua Street in Northeast Salem. It wasn't two, three minutes. The police came in. I guess there was 12 police cars and ambulances and everything. Marion County deputies found two men and a woman with gunshot wounds outside the home. Law officers say Bradley Kelly of Salem was found dead here. Michael Buncher of Salem died at the hospital. The homeowner tells me he was inside in a back bedroom when his adult daughter had two friends over. They were out front when another man who was her former boyfriend showed up and shot them. This uh, person that knows Mo Corey, my daughter, uh, came over here and threatened him with knives and they chased him away and he came back with guns and shot him. Roger Olfert says his daughter will be okay. She was shot in the side. Neighbors say there was a little boy who lived at the home. He was not injured. I told the police two or three times that I would take the child because we know him and everything, but they said they'd work something else out. So they did that. Now, just within the past hour, law officers, detectives have returned to the home. They are gathering more evidence, we understand. They are also looking for anybody who was out here, may have seen something. This happened at about 10 o'clock, just after 10 last night. Live in Salem, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News. Thanks for the update, Lisa. Also